Whether you're comfortable catching live shows in person or you prefer to stay in and steer clear of others, there are different ways these days to enjoy live music. Ames Ponty is the music writer for the Press Herald. She has four shows on the list for us this week, starting with a live stream with the Galler sisters. Molly, Edith, and Elsie Galler. And I love sibling harmonies. There's just something extra special. I love harmonies anyway, but sibling harmonies are their own special brand of vocal bliss. So this is, um, they, they're actually doing a small amount of, of actual audience members, but those sold out a while ago, but you can stream it. It's via the Camden Opera House. So it's the Gaulish Sisters this Friday night at 7.30 p.m. So that should just be lovely. And they play on, say, a banjo and I think a cello. Am I saying that right? I think so. Strings, strings and harmonies, Gaulish Sisters. Those are the key points. I think I hit them. Number two on the list. I read this and said, oh my gosh. Patty Griffin, we get a yeah. live. Yeah, so she is, uh, for those of you who don't know, because I talk about her a lot, she's from Old Town, Maine. She has lived in Austin, Texas for many, many years. So she is doing a little mini residency at the, uh, what is the name of the theater? Well, it's one of the theaters in uh, downtown Austin. Isn't and what's cool is that part of the proceeds will benefit independent music venues, including our very own State Theater and the Opera House at Booth Bay Harbor. So the first one is this Saturday night, and then she's got two more, the 21st and December 5th. And the tickets are they're not too bad. It's 25 bucks for one show or 60 for all three. And you get Patty Griffin, like, live streamed so it's the, the shows are 100 percent live from austin texas and that's just really cool that she's doing that she hasn't done a lot of the streaming stuff since we've been in the pandemic um yeah. all right third on the list is live in person at Minecraft is playing lady lamb yes uh, speaking of wonderful songwriters lady lamb her, her real name is actually ali spaltrow and she is nationally known she has toured in europe and all over the united states she lived in brooklyn for many many years she got her start playing after hours at a video store in Brunswick when she was a teenager. And she moved home, she's back in the Midcoast. She moved here in March, not because of the pandemic. Her, her sister was having a baby and she just decided, you know what, I'm gonna come home and just be with my family for a while. And now she's here and she created this wonderful venue in her front yard called The Hive. And I went to one of the shows, it's really great. Outside, of course, so uh, and socially distanced. So Maine Craft Distilling and are, is teaming up with her and they're gonna, you know, it's, we're getting cold, but it's okay. You bundle up and they have some of those heater things. So you can go to the 3 p.m. show this Sunday at Maine Craft Distilling. And I went there a couple weeks ago, there was a surprise show from the Lone Bellow, another huge act. And I went, to, I went and I had a great time. I had a big old cheeseburger and I, probably some fries if I know myself and some hot cider. I felt very safe. I mean, that's the key thing here. We're going to be honest, like as long as you feel safe, like people are socially distant, you had to wear a mask uh, when you were seated and you could take it off to eat. So, and her songwriting is first rate. Even in the tremor was one of my favorite records from last year. So I can't say enough good things about Lady Lamb. All right. Fourth. Whew, that was a lot. On the list. That was a lot to say about Lady Lamb. Fourth show on the list. We've got um, at Stone Mountain Arts Essential, which is also limited capacity right now. Winston. Yes, and what's wonderful about this, well, he just he just did some shows at Ogunquit, at the Jonathan's in Ogunquit, and he decided to come back and fun act. So I interviewed uh, Mr. Winston a couple weeks ago for the Press Herald, and I said, you know, have you ever heard of Stone Mountain Arts Center? And he said, well, let me write this down, Amzel. I don't know, where is it? Tell me about it. And I gave him a phone number and an email, and he made it happen. And now George, I guess, is my new best friend, and he's doing two shows, Friday and Saturday, November 21st and 22nd, at Stone Mountain. That's the weekend before Thanksgiving. And if you want, you can make a reservation and get just the most succulent meal you've ever had. And I'm hoping those shows will sell out. And again, they've done every possible thing they can do to keep everybody very safe. And George is a pianist. Uh, he maybe will play a tiny bit of harmonica, maybe a little bit of acoustic guitar, but 95% of his show, it, at least, is all piano. So there's no vocal anything, if that's at all a concern. So I'm thinking because of that, I'm like, you know, I might go. I haven't had a huge feast from there since the summer when I got takeout at Stone Mountain and went on my birthday and ate on the porch. I'm, like, I'm ready for another visit. And this is a safe way. And it's George Winston. I've never seen him live. And if you don't know his music, his December record is one of my most favorite things. I have it on vinyl. Maybe I can get him. Somebody will bring it to him and he'll sign it for me. I don't know. But George Winston, two couple shows. And I would probably think about getting tickets sooner than later. I wouldn't wait till last minute on that.